Today, we're introducing a better way to search with Bing. It's about the best of what search is now, with a powerful new angle. Because we believe the better search engine starts with the results you're looking for and combines the best of the web with the people you know to make your searches more meaningful. That was Microsoft announcing a makeover for Bing, its search engine. Welcome back to Digits here at WSJ Live. I'm Simon Constable. We're going to go straight out to Shira Ovide with the Wall Street Journal in San Francisco to tell us what's going on here. This is a pretty <coughs> radical overhaul of their search engine, isn't it, Shira? It is. It's pretty significant. Uh, you know, Microsoft's poured a lot of money into Bing over the years, and they've kind of steadily made changes to improve it. But this is probably the most significant makeover since uh, since they overhauled their own search engine. So, so explain what it's going to be like for anyone um, who goes yeah. to Bing. And I got to confess, I, I, Bing's not my first uh, preference when I look for a search engine. But let, right. let's ignore right. that. Well, that's and Microsoft's let's go challenge, right? That what happens if you redesign a search engine and no one notices? <laughs> but the, the basic that's thing they've solid. done here is they split the traditional looking search results page into three columns. The first column has the traditional search results we're all used to. The middle column has kind of more tools to help you act on those searches. So if you search for a movie name, for example, it might show you in that middle column a trailer of that movie and then maybe you'll have an option to buy tickets to uh, local screenings of that film without leaving Bing. And the third column, which is maybe the most significant, is incorporating more social um, social networking into Bing. So Facebook, Twitter, even Google Plus, uh, later on LinkedIn, services like that, uh, to get advice from your friends and social network about, hey, where should I, what movie should I see or what hotel should I stay in when I'm in Chicago, that kind of thing. Now, Microsoft has been the, the unit of Microsoft which looks after this, which is the online services division, has uh, shrunk its operating loss, but it's still a loss, right? Uh, it's $479 million in operating loss, which is almost half a billion by my calculation. Um, yes, that's, that's one quarter, we should say. One quarter of One quarter, losses. sorry, that's yeah. one quarter. I mean, so, you know, that's a lot of money. I mean, w w and they've only got 15% of the web search compared to uh, Google, which has 66%. This is not looking good for them, is it? No, you're right. I mean, you when you ask investors about Microsoft, one of the first things they gripe about is about Bing, that they um, hate it, and they hate it slightly less now because Microsoft has um, spent slightly less money, uh, poured slightly less money into Bing over the last couple quarters, and that has stemmed some of the operating losses. Um, but you're right, their share is still very small, and Microsoft will say they're taking a long view. This is a, a company that likes to take the long view, and they believe over the course of years, decades, whatever you, um, whatever time frame you want to put on it, that they can succeed with Bing. Wow. Um, one of the things, one of the questions I've got for you, and I had this as soon as I read this article, which is a, a great piece in, in today's um, paper, was, look, what, 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 what happens like if if nobody actually wants to to use this? Has has a company ever gone from being second place, third place, and actually taken over the market leader? Uh, that's an interesting question. I, I think the answer to that is probably no, although you know Google was at one point an upstart in search and now they're the market leader, so there is a precedent there. And you know uh, smaller companies like Firefox, um, the Firefox web browser has made inroads in um, in the, the web browser market to Internet Explorer, Microsoft's own offering. So there is some precedent about people making a dent in market leaders, but in, in the search game, no, it's pretty much been all Google for quite a number of years. Quite, quite a number of years indeed. Anyway, well, great story, Shira, Shira Ovidio of the Wall Street Journal out in San Francisco.